welcome back we are now going to represent the three dimensional structure into its orthogonal views now i am going to use a third angle projection so according to the third angle projection i'll have to draw the top view here and then the front view is going to be drawn here and the side view will be drawn in this location now this is the third angle projection okay we usually follow third angle projection in uae right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to first draw the front view then i will draw the third i mean top view and then the side view now i will consider this to be the front view so what you can see now is a structure which is something like this that's your front view and when you see the top view like this so what you can see is you can find a rectangle and then this line this line here is what i am drawing like this that's your front view so when i look from its right side which is the side view then this is how you can see so i am going to draw it like this and again this line here is visible like this so when i finish my drawing this is how the orthogonal views of the three dimensional shape is going to look like of course this is a free sketch but when you are drawing it we are going to follow proper dimensions so let me first draw the front view i'll make use of a ruler so let me consider that this is 6 cm and the check paper that you find here each box represents 1 cm so what i'll do is i'll count 6 boxes 1 2 3 4 5 six boxes that is nothing but this line now i'll do the same thing on the top i'll go six boxes 1 2 3 4 5 and six boxes then i'll have to draw this line so it is four across that is four boxes then two boxes it comes down and then i'll be completing my drawing something like this what you have completed here is the front view front view of course you don't have to write like this but just for the learning purpose i'm writing it now after completing the front view i have to draw the side view now the gap between the front view and side view has to be 20 mm likewise the gap between the front view and the top view should also be 20 mm that's by default which you have to maintain now i am leaving two check boxes which is 2 cm or 20 mm and then i am going to draw the right side view so when i view from this side this is how it appears now once you have drawn the front view we don't have to measure it anymore again because i can project this line like this and this line i am just going to project like this so what i am doing now is i am drawing drawing all the horizontal construction lines after that i will leave two boxes which means 20 mm and then i will start drawing in between now the breadth here is 3 cm which is three boxes in my case so i'm drawing it like this then draw the vertical line and then finish off with the horizontal line which goes on the top now apart from these four lines we have one line here which is nothing but this region which i can of course project from this front view to the side view so keep the ruler straight on top of the same construction line that you have drawn 
and then join it. So this is your side view. Last is going to be the top view. So this is going to be my top view. As I have mentioned, 20 millimeter gap, which means two boxes in my case. And then I'm going to project all the vertical lines. I'm just construct projecting all the vertical lines, which is nothing but my construction line. So I leave two boxes, then I'll draw the horizontal line. The width is three boxes, so I go three, and then I'm completing all the outer lines like this. Last but not the least, you have this line, which you can view from the top, which is exactly from this line. So there is a construction line, draw the vertical line. Now this is the top view. So what I have just done is we have taken a three dimensional structure. We represented this three dimensional structure into two dimension. Summarizing what we have done, we have just represented the 3D model in its three orthogonal views, which is the top view, front view and side view. And we have represented it in a third angle projection. So as it is a third angle projection, we had our front view in this location, top view was in this location and the side view was drawn in this location. If the same drawing was to be drawn in first angle projection, everything remains the same except for its positions. So in a first angle projection, the top view will be here. The front view will be in this location and the side view is going to be in this location. So this is the only difference. As it is, the structures are going to be the same. Only the location where you draw is going to change. Having done this, let us move on to the next drawing.